Hello guys, you are watching Fantasy Darky. I hope you all are well. In this video, we will discuss about calculation, like how can we do the calculation part for Milken oil drop experiment. In the first video, we did we did the simulation part. Now in this video, we will do the calculation part. So before starting the video, if you are new on my channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon button to get the more videos and do like also. So without wasting the time, let's get start our video. First, I will tell you which formula we have used in this experiment. Now you can see the calculation part on my screen. Now here you can see. So first, I will tell you which formula we are used. So we are used. First, we will do the terminal velocity. We will find the terminal velocity. How can we find the terminal velocity? So first, we will calculate terminal velocity. We will. This is what I told in previous video. If you are haven't seen that video yet, so I will. Give you the link in my description box from where you can see, like how can you calculate the terminal velocity? So v1 is for the terminal velocity, and we have so formula is this length upon time, and we we will calculate this from our simulation part. I'll I'll this we will talk I'll already talk about on this video on my previous video. so we will why we are calculating the terminal velocity we are calculating the absence of electric field and this is what when the when the oil drops of this experiment is move downward when the oil drops are moved down because of the absence of the electric field we will calculate the terminal velocity we will we will now here already given l1 is for the distance traveled by oil and t1 is for the time taken now again we will calculate the radius of the oil drop how can we calculate the radius of oil drop so we, this is the formula for radius of oil drops and 9 into rho here rho is for the uh, water oil drop uh, and the rho air is for the uh, air density now we will again after this we will calculate the terminal velocity v2 now first we will calculate the uh, terminal velocity v1 is for the uh downward direction and then we will calculate the terminal velocity v2 for the upward direction because first we will calculate the absence of electric field when there is no electric field applied and here we calculate the v2 when the electric field is applied and the when the electric field applied the oil drops are move upward direction and then we will calculate the distance length upon time like we will calculate the uh, note down the length and the time and after this we will calculate the last formula charge on oil drops q is for the charge on oil drops 6 is this formula is 6 pi pi eta r v1 plus v2 and d upon v now here r r is for the radius of oil drops v1 plus v2 is i already talk about this terminal velocity and d is for the plate distance that i uh, show you uh, in the next in this video and v is for the voltage so let's start with the calculation like how can we do the calculation part here we uh, i have take some readings in my uh, own you can take your own readings and how you can take the readings is, is this i already talk about in my previous video so the terminal velocity v1 in the absence of an electric field is calculated as v1 is equal to l1 upon t1 is for the length and here i have already talk about this v1 and 0.5 cm is for the length and this let me show you how can you calculate this uh, now here you can see the simulation part of milken oil drop experiment let's me show you how can you calculate when we will start the experiment now here you can see some the of oil drops here you can see some of oil drops are downward now from here to here the the length of this is 0.5 cm here we can also calculate the half of the length for oil drops when the oil drops is falling down from here and 0.5 cm so we can calculate the time and we this is our terminal velocity v1 because terminal velocity v1 is this for because is this is happen because the absence of the electric field we are we will not apply it here right now the uh, uh, electric field when we apply the electric field the the oil drops are getting charged and they are moving upward direction and this is our that is our terminal velocity v2 so here we are calculating only the terminal velocity v1 so 
let me show you let me show you now here v1 is for i'll do this experiment for the full of the length like 0.5 cm is full and half is 0.25 cm we can also calculate the with the 0.25 cm and take the reading now here i'll uh, take the reading 3 second and we will then we will divide this equation we can get the 0.16 cm per second now this is unit for 0 uh, cm per second and then we will calculate the radius of oil drops the formula of is uh, i already talk about this radius r square 9 eta v1 now you can uh, what is eta v1 g rho rho air i'll show you in the simulation part let me show you what is this go the theory for and uh, now here you can see r is the radius of oil drops eta is for the viscosity of air and v1 is for the terminal velocity v1 and acceleration due to gravity is for the g and rho is for the density of liquid or we can here we are using oil so density of oil and rho air is for the density of air rho air so let's move on our calculation part now calculate all these all values put in our radius formula and calculate the radius radius of oil drops 9 eta's value is constant 1.8 into 10 raised power minus 5 and then we will calculate v1 we will already be v1 is we already find in the our equation like you can see here v1 is already fine now can put this value in uh, our v1 0.16 cm per second and the denominator we can cal uh, we can uh, put these values 9.8 is for the acceleration due to gravity values constant constant values and rho is like how much rho Uh, we can get in our uh, formula let me show you in the simulation part from where, where you can get your uh, oil drop density of oil drops now you can see oil drop density 920 here you can see the oil drop density 920 and put this value in our equation and 1.255 is for the density of air and this value is for the constant and then we will calculate this equation and we can get radius of oil drops 1.1 into 10 raised power minus 7 meter we, we you can get the another value also when you are get the when you are calculate this and we are uh, note down your uh, readings the readings are different and you can get the radius or also the difference so let's uh, move forward and we will calculate the terminal velocity v2 now here we are getting terminal velocity we are calculating the terminal velocity v2 because of the presence of the electric field when we are applied electric field in our apparatus so oil are charged and they are moving upward direction and we will find the length and uh, how much time is uh, they are covering from 0.5 cm so we will put this value in this our terminal velocity v2 now here you can see the length upon time is for t2 l2 and t2 now 0.25 cm now i will i'll do this experiment for uh, i'll calculate the zero uh, term, terminal velocity v2 for 0.25 cm i'll not calculated here the 0.5 cm uh, i'll calculate this half of the length and uh, how much time is cover half of the length is 1 second so put this value in our formula and calculate when we are calculating we can get the terminal velocity v2 is 0.25 cm per second and after this we will calculate the final calculation how can we do the final calculation let me show you so for formula of the final calculation is q q is for the charge on oil drop how much charge like how much charge we are getting on the oil drops so this is we have to find in this in this our calculation part so the formula of this is 6 pi eta r r is for the radius v1 plus v2 d upon v now this is v for not the terminal velocity this is for the voltage what voltage we are using in our formula uh, how much voltage we are given in uh, in our apparatus and this is for the and uh, like in this well when i'll do the experiment i'll get the 50 uh, 5800 voltage 
so you can get this voltage let me show you from where you can get the this voltage when you are perform the experiment you can get this now now right time this is voltage applied is that zero and when you are to the perform when you are uh, adjust the applied voltage and you are uh, on the applied voltage and supplied in our in your experiment you can get the voltage applied when i'll do the experiment i'll get the 55800 something so i'll put this in our uh, formula and i'll get the charge on all row how can you put so 3.14 is for the pi value and 1.8 into 10 raise power minus 5 is the constant value of the eta and eta and after that r is for the radius that i we will found find find in the found in our already find and v1 plus v2 is our terminal velocity v1 plus v2 are move move uh, move di move upward direction and downward direction and d is for the distance v voltage how much voltage we are given in our equation in our apparatus and when we are calculating this all the equation we can get q is equal to 4.24 into 10 raise power minus 19 so this is our charge on all drop whatever we get you can get the different value also but remember one thing so the form the when we are getting so the value of different 4.24 when i'll get that 4.24 you can get the different and another one is get different but the, the value of 10 raise power is always the minus 19 and you can get the different value so the your, uh, your calculation is wrong check the calculation again now how can you now you can see the observation table and how can you put these values in your observation table how can you uh, resolve your observation table so here you can see distance table l1 I already told how much distance travel you can get your in your apparatus or in, in your simulation Milton oil drop experiment. So I'll get the 0 0.5. So I'll put it here 0 0.5. And after that, how much time it cover? 0 0.3 second. I'll get the 0 0.3 se second. You can get the different value. And another one is get the different value. So that's not the matter. How much you can get? Just put it on here and do your experiment with uh, completely and uh, this is distance travel L2 I, and this L2 is for the move upward direction and I already told many of the time this L2 is for the when the charge is uh, move upward direction and L1 when the oil drops are not charged and the absence of the electric field and there is these all the oil drops are getting false downward direction and uh, how much time you can take in T2 so note down this time and uh, put this all the formula in when you are when you are put this formula in terminal velocity v1 and v2 you can get 0 0.16 and 0 0.25 as i already uh, talk about on this and the balancing potential is for the voltage like uh, i uh, i already mentioned how much voltage you can get in your uh, experiment i'll get the 55800 so when you are calculating these equation you can get the 4.24 into 10 raise power minus 19 you can get the different value i'll get the 10 raise power minus 19 and the final our result is charge on all drop is 4.24 into 10 raise power 19 this is our final result and th this is our calculation all about the calculation you can get you uh, these calculation on your own performance and